when looking at the possibility of a Switch Pro, what absolutely needs improvement to warrant the revision? Nintendo has never been one to chase the bleeding edge, but always seems to stick the landing regardless. Um, we talked about this before. Just make it look nice on a 4K TV. Now, obviously, I don't expect 4K graphics from a Nintendo system, but make it look nice on a 4K TV, and I'm good. Fix your fucking drift. Oh, <laughs> you could do that, too. You know, it'd be about, you know, fucking time for that shit to not be a thing anymore. Just saying. Yeah. What about the rest of you guys? What does the Switch Pro need? I mean, what are you? You Switch a lot, too. Yeah. I mean, it's gonna come. I, I hope. No, no. What do you? What do you want? What do you? What does it need to have for you to think this is justified? Get rid of those fucking bezels. I hate those bezels. It's annoying to look at the damn bezels. Get rid of the bezels, and just let it support at least previous gen Xbox. Uh, X Xbox. Yes, three. The Xbox. Yeah, at least support those type of games. The Switch. Yeah, if it can. Yeah, the new version to show. Think about it. It could only, right now. It's playing the. 360 and PS3 games, right? The, sw- the Nintendo Switch. The Nintendo Switch. That's what it's playing now. If it can go to PS4, if it can just play PS4, not PS5 or anything, just pick up to PS4 level and, and Xbox One S or X, fine, then do it. And that's what there's. Are you talking about graphics? Talking. No, Tony. Okay, I, I realize that you're you're confused about the Switch and brand, but what he's talking about is Switch picking up the stragglers from the last gen systems. Yeah. So like, when, oh, when I'm, like, I'm like, what did I'm like, did Switch start playing Xbox games without me noticing this no. shit? Like no. what? No, but that? you know, you know, nothing's truly exclusive given enough time and money these days. Oh, you're talking about third party what... I got you, got you. Third party um last gen games. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes. So, by the way, real quick, gotta got interject. Shout out to Arniso for uh subscribing. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, continue, Adam. I was like, what the fuck are you yeah, talking no, about? If it can get cuz it's it's we're playing all these old shits, and everyone's all wild that we can have it on the go, and I love that and all, you know, with the for the Bioshocks and stuff. But man, you got to you're gonna get to the point where look, now we're already in the next gen. There were some good games in the other one, multiplayer games. It would be great if one day we could play, let's say, a division or something like that on the go on the Switch. I'd be cool. You know, yeah. why not make a, a variant of it? You know, do something. But uh, I, it's gotta it has have to upgrade. Yeah, it's gotta have something. But the performance, the hardware has to be there. And from what we're hearing with the Pro, it looks like it's gonna have that power just to do that, just to bring it up to par of last gen, or at least close to it. So. Well, one one of the issues, Adam, that I think um, they're gonna come through is is the whole storage issue. I mean, they come with 32 gigabytes uh, on the box. So, you know, trying to get <laughs> trying to get last gen Call of Duty, you know. Uh, uh, co- at cold. What is it? The Cold War one? Uh, oh, that's not happening. Yeah, they're, they're, that's a Black Ops Cold War. No, that's not happening. Unless they do what they did with those two games that they have now on there, where it's playing from the cloud, where you can do the cloud version. Unless that that becomes a thing, but I don't know anybody that really wants to do that. You pay for the game and you have it, but you can only play when you're on a strong Wi-Fi signal. Well, I mean, and 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 Nintendo and and online capabilities don't really go ahead. No, in. no. So. Uh, it'd be cool if they come up with some kind of way of like, I was thinking instead of just, we always hear like, oh, you have a micro SD slot. Yeah, we'll upgrade that to like two slots, you know, put two slots out. We could really beef this thing up. Do something like that. All right, Brian. Yeah. I'm, uh, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, Brian first and you, Carlos. Uh, I'm with Adam on the bezels. Bezels are a bit of a thick side, so oh, you be just trimmed down. And the space, I never really thought about it that much because I have an SSD in there, an SSD, um, SD card in there. So I've never had an issue. But yeah, um, definitely bump it up. I'd say, well, again, if it's using the same tech as phones these days, you can easily get like two, five, six gigs in there with not much problem. And that will suit so many people. So at least 128 gigs should be fine. Yeah. Maybe two, five, six. And also have room for expansion slots because why not? All right, Carlos. Yo, man, two two of Brian's uh, two worst nightmares. It's switch bezels and bezel guys. <laughs> um, <laughs> I I I agree with Tony. Well, actually, I agree with everyone. Everyone's assessments to this. You know, Tony mentioned the whole, and my biggest issue with it is um, playing the switch on my TV. On my TV, oh, too brutal. Um, too brutal. It, 
it's it's it looks washed out it looks you know pixelated it does you man and i don't even play it like with the tv right in front of me i i'm i have a couple of several feet in between me and the tv and it's man it's it's brutal man um so Ooh. having the switch, you know, either you know the the chipset being upgraded to the X2 Tegra, or maybe the 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 dock having some special capabilities or something. I don't know what they're gonna do, but they hopefully they're able to upgrade this thing to output and you know process you know higher res textures because um, the, the games are fine, you know. Zelda, the, the with the fidelity it has, with the the gameplay it has, and you know the maps and everything, just make everything look a little more crisper and run a little bit better. That's all I'm really asking for. Um, having the the storage capacity also increase because you know, I mean, if you're going to have higher res textures, you're also going to have higher. You know, they're all going to store more memory, uh, and so you're going to have to store that into 32 gigabytes. Is not enough. I remember at the beginning of this the Switch console launch. Tony and Chris were having arguments with people about the storage because they were like, yeah, man, the 32 gigabytes will last you the whole generation. Nope. And no, that's right. Really no, the hell, it stupid. didn't. Yeah. Um, so that Nintendo that fans, needs man. to be, you know, assessed. Uh, also, um, if there's any way, Brett mentioned the Joy-Cons, the Joy-Con drift. I just hope they could sort of upgrade, make the Joy-Cons a little bit better for people with bigger hands. Um oh god right yeah but then that's 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 really much it i don't really everything else is kind of software based that i have issues but as far as the hardware i think that's as that'll be a good and that'll make me reinvest into the switch um if they do that kind of stuff yeah brett what you got from me man um honestly i'd like a little bit of a design overall if i get to pick anything i'd like a little bit of a design overall i'd like them to raise the dock about two inches and um, put on Joy Cons with like you know PlayStation horns or something like that, and so you can really grip it. I know you can buy those aftermarket, but then you have to fucking take them off to put them on your dock and everything like that. Like, yeah. I'd like to see a version where you know it's raised up a little bit so you could keep the you know the pro gaming, uh, whatever um, handles, uh, Joy Cons, pro gaming Joy Cons on, and still dock it. You know, maybe make it a little bit bigger and just kind of market it as you know like a more gamer, more hardcore gamer version. You know, a little bit bigger, outputs to 4K a little bit better, um, has better, you know, controllers. I mean, that's what we would all really expect if you just hyped up, you know, if you blew NOS into a system. And that's kind of what I think I would ex I would expect, you know, and along with everything else, fucking bezel. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, my big thing is it works really well in, um, in docked mode with the Pro Controller, but the handheld experience is ergonomically lacking. Mm -hmm. um, they, oh, by the way, this is in the Joy Cons. What happened? I what? was going to say, what if, let's say, within the Joy Cons, they have like a little button that you can press, and then the bottom piece is just like split. You know, it just pushes out a little bit. So then that way we can get that that horn feel. You know what I mean? Like, what if yeah. they, they maybe they can do something like that, and then you just snap it back in? The yeah, only, the only, the only, like issue, like the only thing about that, the whole thing. yeah, without the having to disassemble. The only thing about having like stuff that you know, I feel like you know, adjusting stuff like that, you can kind of pull out and pull back in. You know, the wear and tear of those things probably may not be that great. You know what I mean? Like the more moving parts that you have, the more, um, you know, chances you have for uh, you know, diff, you know, for them to not work properly. Don't work now with that yeah. damn drift, so. Well, yeah, yeah. You want them to do shit that pops out, and they can't even handle the you know what? handle you know the what? drift issue. You know what's weird with the drift is that I have that a uh, Power Eight controller did the drift also, and that's a that's a third party controller, which I found interesting. I was like, wow, I thought it was just with the Joy Cons, and then I'm using my other controller, and then now and so far the only the AP do is the one that hasn't drift on me. Well, it, it also it also depends on the company that they're using to to manufacture yeah. the the analog sticks, and what you know the, what they found. Um, well, is that probably that the, one of the reasons maybe the why the the the, the PlayStation has been having uh, drift issues as well as the things but they might be actually using the same company to manufacture their those um those parts. Yeah, Chris. <laughs> Um, I, I mean, I agree with most of what's said. Uh, my my main things would be like use an enhanced Tiger Two, so you get some sort of 4K output. Maybe increase the RAM. 
uh, to support some uh, some better games. Although that's going to lead to, I think they would do that if only to force people to upgrade to the Switch Pro and go, oh, this game only runs on Switch Pro. You know, mm. so I, I could see you know that. Say that shit. Yeah. You know what time. Oh they yeah. Did it with the, with the XL, that. yeah. They did it with the XL. Bet. By the way, this is interesting. I didn't realize this. Thank you, John Christ, for bringing this up. Um, you know how the um, the switch sticks out a little bit above the dock. Apparently, I saw you could see the battery indicator. That actually makes sense because I thought it was. I mean, just, you can. I thought uh, it was bad you design. See, <laughs> you know, you can see it on 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 one of our screens right now. So, yeah, so, wait, wait. yeah that's crazy. Interesting. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Yeah, it's like, oh wow, look at that. I didn't realize. I thought it was just bad design. Like, you know, what the fuck are you doing? You know, <laughs> baby, no, what is you really, doing? They should, you know what they really should do? They should actually make a real a set top, uh, a fully set top version of the Switch, a real Switch Pro that actually has the shit that's in it that that can run run some shit decently. Yeah, 